Today we're gonna do a walkthrough of my Jeep Liberty Overland build. That's next. Welcome to Backcountry Renegade, I'm Jeff. Today we are gonna look through my Jeep Liberty and kind of just walk through and see how I built it up. This is an overland build, so I can uh, go ahead and do some camping and overlanding as I'm doing it. So it's meant to go off-road, meant to uh, be able to camp, as you see with the rooftop tent. I've been really waiting for the rooftop tent to come in, so I'm excited that it's in. And now we're gonna begin those adventures, so you could be looking for more videos like that on the channel. So this is a 2006 Jeep Liberty Renegade. And uh, as you see, it has the flat hood and uh, the Renegade light options. And we'll go through a little bit of other things that I've added. First off, you can see the ARB uh, bumper here and this has been really nice it has the bull bar at the top here um, i've already hit a deer with it as you can tell with the uh, dent in the license plate and that's the only damage i got so pretty awesome this bumper is a beast inside i also have a winch that is built in it's the smitty belt x2o and so it uh, also is a synthetic line so i wanted to save weight where i could as already a steel bumper is going to be pretty heavy I also have the Factor 55 Fair Lead as well as the Factor 55 uh, Fair Link as well. And these are really handy. I did have these shackle mounts mounted down here, but those are more tow mounts. So you're not really supposed to do those for uh, to uh, pull out or anything like that. And so I actually had these really heavy duty steel um, shackle mounts uh, mounted up here and then have the shackles here. And so that's the front end. I also have these IPF uh, lights here that really uh, illumine everything pretty nicely. Now, if you look underneath, I do have this guard at the top. It's the 4X guard from Jeep and by Al. They don't make it anymore for the Liberty, but I do have uh, the front guard here, which um, really matches up nicely with the rest of the uh, shields and armor that I have underneath that came stock. So I really like that as well. All right, also in the front, I do have these upgraded lights here that have nice little halos on the inside there. And this is from C3 Customs. And so I sent in my old lights. He then retrofitted them, sent me these, and pretty happy with those. He's doing a lot of great work, so make sure to check him out. Let's take a look underneath the hood. All right, as far as underneath the hood, there's not a ton of stuff that's going on here. But uh, as you can see for the upgrades, I did upgrade my uh, alternator there. And this is a heavy duty alternator here and so it could do a lot more uh, wattage out as well. Um, do have the Optima yellow top and been pretty happy with that. Been able to do everything that I can, uh, I can handle, um, everything that I run, my laptops, my, all my accessories, lights, things like that. Also, as you can see, I did do the big three as far as the cords and, uh, and update all those. And so those have done uh, pretty well for now. So looking at the wheel well here, we do have the Jeep and by Al um, upper control arms as well as the coilovers. Now these are the adjustable coilovers that I got. They can go all the way from uh, two inches all the way up to four inches. Right now we're sitting about uh, three and a half inches of lift here. I also added extended brake lines and sway bar disconnects also from Jeep and Bial. Also have the Terraflex uh, bump stops as well. Uh, the tires I also have here, are, these are 31s currently and they're Duratex. Um, my goal is to eventually upgrade to 32s next. Um, I also have these uh, wheels here. Now these wheels are from Mamba and they're made to look uh, very much like the um, the uh, Rubicon wheels that you have on the, the Wranglers. So uh, they fit really nice, they're 16 by eight, and uh, I really like the feel of those as well. All right, so looking down here, I had boulder bars installed from All J's, and so this is pretty neat. I had a friend, uh, Luke, who actually went ahead and got these and added this little step here. And this is really nice nice because I can also um, have the high lift and it attaches to that pretty nicely. I have an adapter that uh, holds on to those and we can lift up the Jeep whenever we need to by these. But the boulder bars really protect this side from rocks or anything like that. And it makes a nice step in order to get to the rooftop tent. All right, so looking at the rear here and we'll get underneath so you can uh, 
take a better look here but looking at the rear i do have the three inch shocks from uh, rocky road outfitters i got about three and a quarter here uh, from the the lift here i also added um, the uh, old man emu extended shocks and so those are really good i like that combination uh, not too pricey either and uh, can get a decent amount of lift with that so another thing you can see is i upgraded the uh, mount here the triangular mount and this is iron rock off-road and pretty awesome uh, mount here that that triangular uh, a-arm up here but i also got a mount here and this is from ww diesel and he makes those custom for the jeep liberty now if you go to iron rock off-road they do have this package particularly for the jeep liberty now with the the custom mount because so many people are ordering it so make sure to go ahead and get that the articulation is hugely increased and it's way more stable as a result uh, some future plans that i have here in the rear is i do have adjustable lower control arms i just haven't installed those yet and the goal is once i get bigger tires uh, take the axle a little bit back to where the tire is dead center instead of a little further up up in the front so that's a future plan here as well all right looking underneath you can see i also have that 4x guard uh, diff guard there so that's pretty nice all right so you may be wondering how i can hold a rooftop tent and an awning and all that uh, really what you need to do is you need to upgrade your rails on the liberty the stocked plastic ones cannot hold these so i actually upgraded these these are steel and they screw into the same kind of plates and everything uh, that the liberty comes stock so i take took off the the stock rails and screwed in these steel rails and you can get those from rocky road outfitters um, those are really good and they uphold everything that i need this is a garvin roof rack and so it really helps uh, uphold it's made of steel it really up, upholds everything that i need it to the rooftop tent awning and it has adapters so i have an adapter for my awning and it mounts and bolts onto that i also have an adapter for the uh, yakima uh, bars that actually hold up the rooftop tent and everything have a wind deflector and then on the back i actually have some shovels and i also have um, an axe that's mounted up there now i used to have my um, i used to have my high lift mounted on the side but since i installed the uh, roof nest tent up there i went ahead and took that down because it did interfere a little bit so um, that's everything up on the top pretty happy with how that came up it it is a little higher as far as the tent but i haven't had any issues or anything like that now the awning that i went with is the arb 10 by 10 they make them in three sizes you can do 10 by 8 you can do 10 by 10 or 10 by 12. 10 by 10 i think was perfect for uh, my size liberty um, i didn't above that would go way over into the hood area and i didn't want that but this has also some uh, wind deflectors that i do have um, that kind of go at an angle and they can deflect wind. I could also purchase the annex room as well and I might do that or I might do it for the rooftop tent. They make an annex as well. So I'm not sure which side I'm going to go with if I'm going to do it with the awning or the rooftop tent. Looking at the back here, I did add a trasheroo, and so this is handy, especially when you're camping. I love just uh, when I have a, a lot of wood that I'm carrying, I'll throw the wood in here as well. It makes it a little easier to store. Looking at the inside, I did install this uh, rack here as well. Now this is from All J's as well. It's aluminum rack and it bolts into everything and it's just a perfect size. Uh, you have a lot of mounts and stuff and hooks that you can hook things if you wanted, bungees, tie downs, anything like that. And so that's a, a really nice thing. In my toolbox, I have all my tools. I have my uh, recovery gear, anything like that, that I would need goes in this box. And thanks Sam for hooking me up with this. Does fit really nicely in there. And uh, as you can see, I did have my uh, Blackstone Adventure Ready uh, stove here that fits on the other side here. So that's what I have in here. And it wouldn't be possible without this nice rack. Looking underneath here, we also have a new exhaust system that I installed here. It's the MBRP exhaust, and I really like this. It's not overbearing or anything. It has a nice, deep, low sound. And 
it's really nice. You can hear it while you're driving and pushing the uh, gas, but it's not overbearing. It's not annoying. It's just a really nice sound. It also has these nice stainless steel tip here. It is a little dirty right now, so you can't kind of tell, but it does look really nice, and I'm pretty happy with this exhaust. All right, so let's look at the inside here. And as you can see, you do have um, these mounts up here. And so this one right here is from Bulletproof Mounting Solutions, and my phone would go right in here. I also have right here a Bulletproof mount as well. And then this one here, this is a nice little mount from Jeep Unique, and it's a dual mount. Basically, I have my little ham radio here, and uh, that just clips on. And I like this for whenever I need to get out of my car and I need to uh, maybe uh, help someone with their lines or anything like that. This is a nice way to do it. Uh, right here is my handheld, other handheld thing. And that's under my seat right now, so I don't have it hooked up, but that would also clip right in there. And then I also have over here a RAM mount holder for my iPad mini. Now I like the iPad mini. Uh, this is what gives me nice direction um, as well. It connects to my GPS and this is uh, brings up my maps. I use Gaia and uh, that's a handy thing as well. I also have the double din stereo. Now this is on its way out. It's a getting ready to die and uh, not the greatest install, but when I do replace this, it will be uh, much better installed. As you can see, I also have the six speed and uh, pretty happy with that as well. Um, six speeds are pretty rare, rare with the Liberty, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the inside. Not a lot of uh, huge upgrades, just some nice mounts and stuff, accessories for me that I can, uh, I can use to help me uh, do a little bit better navigating. All right, let's take a look at the rooftop tent. Now, as I said, it goes on the Garvin roof rack. As you can see here, uh, you have the steel rails here that I got from uh, Rocky Road Outfitters, the Garvin roof rack, and then it has an adapter for the Yakima uh, pulls here. And so that's what it sits on pretty nicely. I did have the wheel every weekend lock mounts as well that really attaches to that and locks your mount. And so I've been pretty happy with that. So I don't get my tent stolen, hopefully. Um, anyways, as you can see, uh, this is the roof nest condor. It can fit about three people and uh, pretty, you know, you'll be shoulder to shoulder, but if you're, if you're used to camping uh, outside in the tents and stuff like that, the two-person tents, this is, a, this is a true three-person in comparison to those. So um, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, as you can see, um, it is a nice tent that has windows. It has a foldable uh, ladder as well. Now how this works is the lid pops up, then this area here will fold up, come down, and then the ladder holds it up. And so let's take a look inside and just check it out briefly. I'll have a full review on this here in the future, but let's just briefly check it out. All right, so as you go up the ladder and take a look inside, you can see the mattress and everything, and there's plenty of room in there. Now, I didn't open up that window, but you can see over here the window that's up and everything. And uh, you do have the nice uh, moon roof on the top. Now, currently I have my rain cover. I live in the Pacific Northwest, and possibility of rain tonight so uh, we'll see what happens and you do have the, a couple bug bug nets up here as well and uh, anyways it's a pretty handy tent like I said um, I'll do a review a more thorough review here in a little bit uh, so be looking for that on the channel but uh, it fits nicely I think with the Jeep Liberty and as you can see the, the LED lights and they also have LED lights on the inside up there as well but uh, here's another look at the Garvin roof rack here. And uh, yeah, so far it's been holding up sturdy and uh, pretty happy with it. So that is the Roof Nest Condor. Overall, I'm really happy with this choice of the Roof Nest Condor. I went with this over other brands because of the value and the quality that you're getting. You're getting a lot of quality and a great price for it comes out with all the accessories already included like the shoe bags and the lights and all that so i'm pretty happy with that plus it was the sleekest of the design once it's up on top of your jeep so for the liberty it's already a smaller uh of the jeeps there and so i wanted something that was a little more compact not as sticking out as much and the condor with what i was looking for was the best solution for that so i'm pretty happy with that 
Overall, uh, this is my build. I'm pretty stoked with how it is. There's a lot of other things I would like to do just to give you an idea. I plan on upgrading my gears to 410s, both in the front and back. I also plan on doing air lockers in the front and the rear as well. And so a lot of things to be planned, a lot of, a lot of cool things coming up, but uh, I'm excited for my overlanding adventures. I also wanna say a big thanks to a lot of my friends who made this possible, Sam, Seth, Jeremiah. Uh, you guys are invaluable and I treasure your friendships and I thank you for how you helped me with this Jeep come along to what it is today. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is a walk around around my Jeep Liberty Renegade Overland build. And so be looking for more Overland videos uh, that I'll be doing as well uh, headed out there now that I have the rooftop tent up there. So if you like what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, any questions, maybe I, I missed some of something that you saw in the video um, and you have further questions, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more Overlanding content on my channel, let me know. Also, make sure to subscribe to see more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.